Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you? I'm doing fairly well. I wanted to do sort of a random ass video tonight because I don't really have anything else to talk about, and I figured I'd take this opportunity to express an opinion or two on this particular subject. Huh? Uh huh. Anyway, I, I got an email or a or, or a message on YouTube recently from someone. I'm not going to say any names because I'm not sure if that's part of the deal here, but uh, from a, a person that I have a nice amount of respect for and I really enjoy her videos and everything, but uh, she brought an issue to my attention. And I've been wanting to tackle it for a while, it's just I never really got around to it or had a reason to, but now I do. The issue at hand here is friendships between fundamentalist Christians and non-believers, or any, I guess, any hyper-religious -religi person and a non-believer. Um, can you actually form a real friendship with someone who worships this particular God? Now I'm going to use Christianity as an example because it's the religion that I'm most familiar with and um, I think the God of Christianity is a big giant asshole. So it works out. You know, can I be the friend of a person that admires, loves, and worships a gigantic fucking asshole? And that's a good question. And I thought about that. Now there were a couple things in this email I got, and, and here here's the basic crux of it, okay? Here's the basic gist. It says, quote, I find it infuriating that some atheists claim to have quote-unquote friendships with fundamentalists who would defend and worship a god that would send good people to hell. End quote. Okay, here's my take on this. <clears throat> I've thought about this before, and ironically enough, well, the friends that I do have, you know, I'm really fucking picky about friendship, okay? I mean... Before I call someone a friend, I really have to trust them. You know, I just don't say to any fucking person, you're my friend. Or I don't, I don't even refer to people as my friend so-and-so until I'm confident that I have a friend in someone. Now, the few friends that I do believe that I have, the two or three people in my life, that I believe that at a moment's notice they would be there if I needed them. These are people that I know for a fact that I can trust. They're not religious people. As a matter of fact, two of them are non-believers. Um, the other one is agnostic. So, essentially, it's kind of odd that I chose those people as my close friends. But anyway, here's what I was thinking. The main point here is... If someone's a fundamentalist Christian, you have to call into question their character, who they are as an individual, right? If they would worship this tyrant, this absolute son of a bitch, that is the Christian God, are they really someone who's worthy of your trust and your friendship? Well, call me over-analytical, and I might be, but before I, I can make that before I can make that judgment on, on someone's character, who they are as a person, I have to ask myself the question, why do they believe what they believe? Is it a matter of convenience for them? I don't know. I don't really think that at the end of the day that's what a belief in this God is. I've said many times in many of my other videos that a belief in this God has little to do with faith and everything to do with fear. Now, a lot of Christians, I, I get this rebuttal a lot. Fundamentalists, they say to me, I'm not afraid. I love God. I believe in God. I am kind of afraid of God, but I know that I don't have anything to worry about because when I die, I'm going to go to heaven and I'm going to be okay. Which, that sort of statement sort of confirms what I've said. Their, their belief is only sustained by the fear of their God. A question for the fundamentalists that are watching, the few of you. 
that I know will watch this. Um, the Christian population in the United States of America, it's a big number. How big do you think that number would be if the Bible promised nothing to the righteous? If the Christian scriptures offered no reward for following the rules of this God, no matter what you did, you'd go to hell. Hell. No matter what you did. Would you be a Christian? Would you still love this God? Would you still appreciate this God? Would you call yourself a Christian? An honest person would likely say no, but go find honesty in a religious person. I dare you to try. Here's my point. It's really hard for me to make a judgment on someone's character when they're afraid, when they're terrified, when they're scared that they have to do something. For example, if you've ever seen the Saul movies, where the Jigsaw Killer puts um, people in these really fucked up predicaments and he, and he has them do some shit that they probably otherwise would never do in order to keep their life, could I make a judgment on that person's character being in a bad or a dangerous situation? Probably not. So it's hard for me to say that all fundamentalist people are unworthy of my friendship. I think they're just afraid. They're terrified people. Without that fear element, and this is something that Christians will never be able to escape. The fundamentalist will never be able to talk his way out of this. This will always be the case. They will always be afraid. No matter what. I mean, there's no way to convince me that you're not afraid. Unless God suddenly, your God suddenly changes his plan, and no matter what you do, go to church every Sunday, pay your tithing, um, help old ladies across the street, whatever it is you choose to do, you're going to hell. If that were the dogma, and you still believed in your God, I might believe, I might think for a moment that there is some type of integrity behind your belief. But I basically I believe these people believe what they do only because they're frightened and afraid. I've often said in some of my really old videos that if someone is a police officer, I will call into question their character immediately because they're taking a job that they don't have to take. No, they're not afraid that if they don't do it, something bad's going to happen to them. They made a choice to do it. But these people are actually terrified that if they don't behave a certain way, this God, that it, this God is as real to them as you can imagine, this God will punish them with hell. They believe it. See, we don't. So it's a little bit different for us. So I guess, I don't, I, I guess it's hard for me to totally reject the friendship of someone that has that belief. Um... Of course, I would ridicule that belief. I wouldn't hold back. And I would expect that that particular fundamentalist friend of mine, quote-unquote, would be there for me, like, in the same way that I'd require any other person that I would bestow the label of friend upon. They would have to be there for me in the same way as any other friend. But I don't think that I would entirely reject their friendship simply because they were acting on fear, which is all I believe religion is. If you want to look back, look at one of my older videos. It's called, I think it's called Theism, A Constant State of Panic. And that pretty much sums up how I feel about religion. Religion only operates through fear. If you remove that fear, it all goes away. Belief in God and religion does not work without intimidation, without fear. And I kind of feel like just because someone's a victim of that fear, I should ignore their friendship or I should automatically say, I can't be your friend. Because taking a job as like a police officer is a little bit different than being scared to death that you're going to burn in hell forever. <laughs> That's just me though, but whatever. Um, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section. Do you think that you could have a, a meaningful friendship with someone who is a fundamentalist um, 
give me your opinion on this. That's just mine, though. But I'm going to shut up now and go. Peace.